Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim, November 20th, 2018, and I'm going to turn this right over to Miss Vegas. Hi, good evening, everyone. Well, the stocks we're going to talk about today are any PXS dries, and our last but not least, SPC. Let's start with ANY. Well, I'm going to let Jim talk about the chart in a second, but I do want to say this had one heck of a run today. For those of you that traded it and held on, even towards power hour, that was actually exciting. The last 10, 15 minutes of the stock, this ran over $6, almost to 6 I think it was 677 And I thought it was actually going to hit 7 So good job to those of you that traded this but i'm gonna let jim talk about this and remember there's no news so you know this just ran on its own and jim what do you can you tell us about that chart well she was a beauty that's for sure she had one heck of a run today she ran from oh i'll get to that in a second but here's the year's chart we had a yearly high of 24.72 and it's pulled back and we've been playing this thing ever since it's been down here at a buck and right now we're at 661. That's what it closed at after hours. So I'm going to turn this over to a five day chart. And you can tell this has been a pretty good little five day run. We had a great run. It ran almost to 418 and pulled back and found support down here at 192, 190. And then for the next three days, it's kind of been bouncing back up. And then today we had the big breakout. I'm going to pull this up to a one minute daily now. We ran it all the way up here to about 420, and then we started realizing that it was starting to correct, and I seen this 50 day start to cross down, and that was the time to exit. Well, right down here, we mentioned it back in the room, right at 350, and I turned my head, and all of a sudden, Vegas alerted me again and said, it's getting ready to go, and there she went. She ran all the way up, passed all the moving averages, and then we had this beautiful little breakout here, created a little flag little pennant flag and then it broke out again create another little pennant flag broke out again so here we had a pull back to about 570 something after hours and we're back at 645 um, don't trust it too much but she's definitely had a good run today and that is any in the next one vegas okay the next one that we are going to talk about is p x s and this is part of the shipping sector and um some people took a swing trade today on this stock actually under pixis tankers and took a swing trade around the 133 mark and looking for this to have some sort of a move over the next couple trading sessions um the actual i mean there's no news on the stock but the company has had uh, some good earnings PXS is one of the actual shippers I've actually liked. I mean, this had a nice run not too long ago. If you guys remember around uh, the beginning of the month, it had a really nice run. And uh, I think it's going to be ready for another move again. Looks like the buyers are back and stepping in on the stock. So um, I think there's an opportunity here because there is good support here at the 50-day at 138. And I think once we see that cross we should probably see some buyers coming in and the 200 day there at 116 is seems to be holding up as well all right this is pxs i'm going to pull up the year's chart first i always like to look at the year when i'm analyzing something i'm noticing the last month last month and a half this thing's really had a lot of mustard to it pulled back created a little u-shape and now we're back here floating around on the 50 sma and this is on a yearly chart, so I'm going to pull up the 20-day next. We can see we're hovering back down here at support. We had the big breakout last month. Oh, back on Thursday. Oh, it started really back on a 11:20, 10:23. Excuse me, 10:23, and it bounced all the way up to about. Oh, I'd say 370 hit that 344 and then it kind of pulled back and had like that U shape and it's flattened out to a consolidated period back here at 134. 
So let's bring this up to one day. It can bounce back up to this resistance level of around 145 to 150. And maybe get up to that 157, 160 area. And that's where you want it to break out. And we'll look at the daily. Daily don't tell me much. It just tells me that it had a big breakout this morning and pulled back. And kind of bounced back up. And here we are hovering at that support area at 135. And this is PXS. Keep it on watch okay. for your shippers. Definitely. And uh, definitely some people I know have a, a swing trade in the stock. Um, okay, so the next one is INPX in Pixion. And uh, you'll notice that after hours, um, that was one of the ones that was leading in terms of volume on uh, INPX. Now, the reason INPX was on the move too is uh, it kind of triggers in line with any. So any ran today, and usually this is kind of a sympathy play to ANY. So this one should also be kept on watch on INPX. And uh, looking actually for that one to go to $5. But I'm going to let the chartist talk about what he sees, because what he sees is always very interesting. So, Jim, what do you see on that INPX chart? Well, I'm looking at a year's chart on it. It's been kind of flat for about six months. It's had a couple of little bounces up and down in between that. But this, it, and I don't know to believe this $657 high year price. So it's probably had a couple splits or something on the way down. But let's look at the uh, 20 day. See how the 20 day, how it was up there around 10 bucks, and we've had a pretty good solid little pullback on this thing. So, yeah, it's pulled back a lot. This is something you want to keep your eyes on. We want it to break 461. That'll be your your resistance that you want to break. And once it does that, we can bring it up to about 481, which it hit today after hours, right around 481, and that's a good solid spot. And then maybe we can bring this up next week up to around 505 i think you've mentioned that didn't you're in five bucks yeah i figured if, i'm looking for around five dollars and yeah. if it, it like 505 would be even sweeter five bucks but... 505 518 and we, maybe if it keeps running we can bring it up to 537 so let's keep inpx on watch it could pan, can pull back to support which is going to be right under four bucks and that's four dollars support on inpx and the next okay. one going to be dries. I just, yeah, that's one of your favorites. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up dries because I noticed it pulled back to my support area, which I always say somewhere under five bucks is the place you want to buy this at. So we mentioned two or three shipper stocks tonight, so I think that might be a hint that something's going on here, that we hit a bottom and they're all reversing a little bit. So this one didn't bounce too much today. All it did was pull back. It come out of the gate right around where that 558, and we're at 511 right now. So keep dries on watch and add it to your shippers watch list. And we got one more left. And one more. So this is a good one. So you guys know that I actually like to watch insider buys, and uh, I do want to mention that um, there was a really nice insider buy today on a stock called SPCB and this is a company called Supercom and the CEO of this company purchased 365,000 shares so that's actually a lot of shares for a CEO to buy for a stock that's under a dollar fifty um, so that's actually intrigues me because I mean if it was something small like 25,000 or 100,000 shares that would be like okay but this particular size purchase um, really appeals to me very much so I do suggest that for those of you that like insider buying stocks um, and stocks around you know this kind of price level you should definitely keep this on a watch because um, there's could be you know future news on the stock uh that doesn't mean it's going to be news you know next week or this month or next month but obviously for the ceo to
to purchase shares in his own company. Um, that tells us a lot. Now, this company, Supercom, just to give you a quick overview, they're into the Internet of Things and also into cybersecurity. So they do provide those um, uh, solutions to both global and public and private sectors. And what I also love, which shows confidence in the CEO, is that he bought the shares at the open market. And I love it. And he, he bought it through his obviously personal purchase program. But because he bought it on the open market, he's confident. So I like that. So um, this is someone something to watch as PCB. And I'm going to turn it over to Jim to talk about what he sees forthcoming potentially in the chart. Should this start to, you know, start to move up? We had a year high of around 495 with a year resistance right around 474. So that's the year high. And we pulled back here today to a year low at 125. So this had a little sell-off here in the past five days from 162 down to 125. So, yeah, I'd be interested in buying me a little bit of this, too, if I was a CEO of this company. And I had a lot of, a lot of good ideas that were coming out. And so, yeah, we're down here at 136 after hours. Let me pull up 20-day chart just to show you the, the sell-off we had here about a week ago. See how it came down last Tuesday? It just dropped. I mean, from 176 all the way down to today to 125. So let me find a couple support areas in here. 134 looks like a good one. Maybe 131. You might be able to get it a little cheaper right around 130. So those are three little supports. Resistance is going to be right here at 140. And you're going to move it up. Let me put that 140 in there. Then probably the next resistance right around 143, so we'll bring it up here. Let's see if we can bring it back up here to around 164. That's what I'm thinking about, SPCB. Keep it on watch, okay. insider buying. And also, one last comment. You guys know I love Israeli tickers, and SPCB is Israeli technology. And I'm a big fan of those uh, companies in Israel because the technology is so far advanced that companies from all over the world actually go to learn from these Israeli technology companies. So they're, you know, big leaders in the, in the industry. So on that note, that's all I have to say today on the docs report. And Jim, anything else to add? I'm very impressed with the timing. We're at 12, oh. 12 minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> So Jim's impressed with me today because I love to talk about stocks, but yep. I can't help it. I love stocks so much. I should have never so said anything because she'll just go on and on and on now. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, you guys, I just want to wish everyone a great evening and uh, we'll hope to see if we can do a little market report tomorrow just ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. We'll see what the market shows us tomorrow. So have one trade safe, trade green, and position size properly. And if not, sit on cash and wait for the right opportunities. Have a good night, everyone. Now remember, this market's been in kind of a sell-off, so let's try it next week and see if we can get this thing bouncing again. Christmas will be over. Black Friday will be around the corner. So let's have a happy Christmas, happy Thanksgiving. And, and happy Hanukkah. And Yeah, yeah. And happy Beer 30, too. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, Vegas and Jim with the aftermarket report on November 20th, 2018, and we love stocks.